Hey everyone, it is Diane here from Deco Easy, and I'm so glad that you're watching to another video of us. If you're new to our channel, I'm Diane and I host this channel together with my mother-in-law, Jenny. We are both from the Netherlands and we love to decorate our homes, especially for the Christmas season. And today I'm going to participate in the Twine It Up Challenge from Fanny, uh, which is from the channel. I have to, yeah, Creations by Fabi. I always try to say Creations by Fanny, but that's not the right name. Um, and her co-host for this month is Lianette from DIY and Beauty on Purpose. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to twine something up and today I will be decorating uh, little cute birdhouses for the spring season. I'm going to transform them in some sort of Ray Dunn inspired uh, uh, birdhouse together with a twine roof. If you want to see how it turns out, then keep on watching. This is the channel Creations by Favi. This is the channel of the host. She has a lot of beautiful videos really she makes a lot of content go check her out she also has a lo lots of social media accounts on facebook instagram you'll find precious content here if you're looking for nice decor projects and here you see the co-host of today's channel diy beauty on purpose from leonette she has a lot of videos also she has a lot of subscribers Go check out her channel. I really, I love her thumbnails. Just how perfect everything looks. All in the same style. That is a really nice. Go check it out. So now you know what the host's channels look like. You can also find both of the channels here underneath the video in the description box. You'll find a link to both of the channels of the hosts and also to the playlist. So you can check out what other creators made and I'm really curious what other creators will upload in the playlist. Um, because I think twine is a really good uh, uh, decor piece which you can uh, you know, really transform any item into something more farmhouse or rustic looking things. Um, yeah, I just love twine. Okay, let's start crafting. Uh, first, I think I'm going to paint my birdhouse. Here, these are the birdhouses. Look how cute they are. They are now in the pink color, really, really sheer pink. That was together with the yellow, my color combination of last spring. Uh, I also use these in the summer, by the way. Uh, in my tree in the living room, I have a huge, huge Christmas tree, a pencil tree, so a very small but very tall one, uh, wholly around inside of my living room, which I redecorate for every season. So I had these inside of the tree for summer and spring, and now I want to give them a transformation because I'm not going to do the pink anymore this season. Uh, with chalk paint, I have this uh, yeah white chalk paint from Action, that is a shop similar to Dollar Tree here. Um, and I'm just going to give them a paint job. So sit back and relax and watch me paint. I just finished the second house. Uh, I think I need multiple layers because this one already is drying a little bit, but you still see, of course, a lot of paint through it. So after I've done all the layers of paint, I will show you how they look like because I'm not going to disturb you with painting over and over and over again for the same object. So in the next shot, I think you'll see completely white houses. In the background, my glue gun is heating up. 
and I'm done painting the houses. Now they're really cute and white, but believe me, I needed five layers of paint to cover all the pink up. Because, yeah, in the previous layer, I still saw sheer pink colors coming through the paint, through the white paint. So now I'm satisfied, and I want to cover up the roof with twine. Okay, I hope the glue gun is ready. I think he is. First, want to start quickly by adding a layer of glue to the roof. Hopefully, now can yes, that is working. Nice. There's some excess glue. Which I try to scrape off because otherwise you can see bulbs between. No, it's already too dry. Bulbs between the twine, and that is not what I like. First, I cut it off roughly to see how I can fix it the best to the roof, because I don't know that yet. Maybe I can... no, that's not going to work, I suppose. I thought maybe I can just glue it back up here which doing this back and forth, but I don't know if that is going to work really well. Well, maybe I can try. I think this works, so I'm going to to glue it back there. Always use my scissors to press the twine on the project. And also, as you can see, for scraping off excess glue. This is going to be such a glue fest. Just cutting off everything here. Well, this would look nice. Uh, this is going to take some time. I don't know if you want to see all that. I'm going to speed things up, but I'm not going to show you the whole process because that would take ages of time.
am for, done with the first house, or at least the top part is done. What I did, I just went sideways, so I did only one large string. And I think it really gives a cute effect here with small loops. Not only the sharp cutted edges, now it looks more natural and alive to me. Uh, I'm in doubt actually if I also want to cover up this edge, so I'm not going to do that yet. I just just want to do the other house first and then we'll see how uh, I think about the idea of covering up the edge of the roof. I'm almost done with this part of the roof. They are together. Almost done. I only want to write, write tweed and chirp here on the front. I have a gloss marker here because that has a really fine tip. I just wrote it down very carefully and I'm going to make it uh, better. I hope you can still see what I'm doing. And this is it for the finishing touch. I added a really cute little buffalo check bow on top. And to be honest, I'm more satisfied with the chirp board than with the tweed board, but they both look cute. Really, my handwriting is going better and better. Or worse, not that worse since I started working in an office. I just don't write anymore on a daily basis, so don't have a really good straight hand. But I really like how the roofs turned out with the twine. Oh, I better can film this one. Just so sweet. Sweet with tweed. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section.
today. I hope you had fun watching. At least I had fun participating in it. And uh, I hope to see you back again in our next video. Jenny and I, thank you so much for watching. And we hope to, that you're staying safe and healthy. And uh, yeah, just thank you that you took the time to watch this. Take care of yourself and have a nice day. Bye, everyone. Thank you.